guys and welcome back to another video. So I am Rajveer and you are watching the coding junction. So this is my third video and today also we are going to do coding and designing on MIT App Inventor which is the block coding. So first open your web browser and search for MIT App Inventor. So just click and go down and this scroll down and this option only MIT App Inventor with the purple thing just click on that and now click create apps now you need to sign in with your google account first and then the screen will appear so today we are going to make a project in which we click on a button and we are able to hear the different sounds of different animals so this can be used to teach small children the animal sounds so click on the start new project and type the project name as animal sounds so now cancel and open your project so this is blank and nothing goes over there so today we are going to need we are going to need three screens we are going to need multiple screens so the first screen is just like a welcome screen so over here we will take a title for the screen so first make it center then background color to anything you want so i'm making it as yarn then change the properties of the label so font bold size 20 and the background color you can keep as yellow and name it as animal sounds so we are going to use four animal sounds so first you need to know what sound does an animal make so over here we need to go to a website so this link i will share it in the description box and you can open this and you can choose any of the animals from over here and choose their sound so today i am going to use four animal four animals so number one is B cats and fourth is a third is dogs and last is tiger. So tiger is somewhere down. Tiger here. So we are going to use these three things. These three, these four animals. So you can choose any of the animals you want. Now let's design this thing. So first you need an image, so just drag and drop it over here, image for showing some animals together. So this is just for making it interesting. So we will use a animated image. So just click on this new tab and search for uh, animals together, together animated. So go in the images and choose any of any of the one you want. So now for so now I am choosing I am choosing this one. So you can choose any of the image you want. Save it in your computer. Now go to MIT App Inventor picture. Now upload file, choose file and take this saved so it is coming now it is very big so first we need to change the height and the width so height i will make as 55 percent and width as 80 percent so now it is not in the center so for that i will make 70 percent height i need to decrease I think this is perfect at the center in the box of the image. So this is fine. Now we only need a button. So just click on this, take this button. And why do we need this button? So we need this button so that we click on this button and we go to another screen where we can hear the animal sounds. 
so first screen would be for me b and second would be cat third dog and fourth tiger you can use your order or you can use the different tiles so let's change the property of this button first of all i will make it to this color magenta in size 20 and text so let's make the text as let, let's start the of animal sound so now it is not fitting over here so i need to change the width the width would be 90 percent see now it is there and height i need to make it as third 12 percent yeah 12 percent is perfect so now we need to code for this button like when the button is clicked so we need to go to the another screen which is screen 2 which is not yet added so we will add that so first go to the button 1 and button 1 dot click and to change the screen go to the controls for the downside open another screen screen name so we will take this from here in the backpack and in the last video I have explained how to use the backpack so if you haven't seen the previous video so the link is there in the description please see that and I will you can see how the backpack is used so over here screen name screen 2 so you need to write just like I have written because it is case sensitive so you we need no gap over here and we need this as capital and everything small so that's all for uh, the coding of screen one now let's add the screen which is screen two which is for b so let's go there so we are here on the screen two so first of all b is of yellow color so i will make the screen to yellow so now let's take a label label is at the left so go to the screen center now go to the properties of the label background color to pink or anything you want i am taking it red come on and this to size 20 and now text you can write as b so this shows that this screen is for b now take an image which shows the image of the b so you can again go to new tab and search for animated uh, animated picture of b which makes the screen interesting so now i will choose that thing i downloaded that first only now i choose this animated b I so now we need to change the height and the width so height we can make it as 55 and width something of 65 so this is a perfect fit and it is looking great in the middle now we need three buttons and one label so i will tell you why we need that first label to show the sound of the b which the b makes so that the child or any person viewing can know which sound does the b make set first button we need the first button for hearing the sound b buzz second button we need the second button for going to the next screen which is the cat sound and the last third button we need to we need for the for going to the home page which is screen one so let's take all the four components label and three buttons so first we will change the properties of everything and then we are going to code so first change the label start size 20 now 
again come to the text you can make it center if you want and text you can write as um sound made by b is equals to buzz so this is fine just keep it like this now first button we will go to the first button so the first button is for hearing the sound b buzz so we will write the text as click here to hear buzz sound so you can change it if, if you want and now change the properties green size 20 now first you go click on the screen the background and like just make it scrollable so that you can go bottom which is like something missing like is not completely coming so you can scroll down and go in there so now let's get to button 2 so button 2 is for going to the next screen so first we will change the properties let's make it orange font no orange is not looking good with yellow so let's make it magenta size 20 and over here and ext next so last button third button just make it font bold size 20 and the background color today we will take black so now you here you can see that we are not able to see the text for that go to the text color and make it yellow or anything you want so i am keeping it as yellow you can choose by yourself and now text we need text which is home so we are finally done with our coding for uh, designing for the first second screen b so now let's go to the blocks and do the coding for b so come here and first take button one button one button two and button three so what we need when the button one is clicked to play the sound of the b so how does that happen so we need a sound sound component in the media in the palette and the fifth option is sound so just drag and drop it over here so we will download a b sound and keep it in the sound component in the source and we will code over here so first we can code and then we can download the b bus so sound one so you need to take call sound one dot b so whenever the button one is click the sound will play so now let's get to button two so when button two is click we need to open another screen which is screen two screen three and whenever the button three is click we need screen one so you can just duplicate this thing by right click and first option duplicate and just place it over here and this over here so now over here write screen 3 so just like write like this because it is case sensitive and over here also screen 1 so now we need to download the sound of B so go to new tab and click here uh, search for B buzz sound mp3 so first if you want you can take any of the sound so you can first view click on download and over here over here I will click on download once again and click to download so now it is downloaded go to MIT app inventor and again go to source upload file choose file and you know 
that it is there in the downloads so same thing and click on ok so now the sound is uploaded over here it is only the designing coding for screen 2 now we are left with three of our animals which are which are cat dog and tiger so first let's do for cat so add screen screen 3 click on ok so i think you have learned by the screen 2 that how to do everything for screen for the this output so you can do i think you can do for everything else also you can download the sound also from any of the google or any of the website so i think i don't need to teach for other three screens so i am i am showing you the last thing which i have done after the three things okay so i'm pausing the video so now i have changed everything so this is also changed i have uh, post a note over here in this app you will be able to learn the voices of different animals so the image is also changed and the button text is also changed so i have nine screens so i will show you i have not nine screens i have 11 screens 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 i have 11 screens so first let me show you what has happened. Let me show you screen 2. So let's go to screen 2. I have changed all the animals. So first I have taken this thing. These all big cats make the same sound which is roaring sound. So I have to choose this. And same coding. And let me show you the screen 3. So screen 3 is cat and see cat meow. So the coding is also similar. And let's go to screen 4. Now it is a dog. So it is a barking sound and same. And coding is also same. Now screen 5. So now it comes the B. But I've changed the image. It is real B now. So let's change this thing to an animated B. So it is there over here and open. So now we need to change the height and the width. No, it is changed. So with the designing, the coding is also similar. Now let's go to sixth screen. This is a crow. So crow makes cow sound. So it is cow. Seventh, seventh is a snake. Eighth, goat, goat. Then nine, nine is a donkey. Then ten is a cow. And the last screen, eleven, zebra. Zebra makes a whinny sound, and the coding is similar. Now I have I haven't added the next screen button because this is the end of the screens. There is no nothing after that. So for testing your app, you need to click on the connect button over here. Then click on AI companion and you need to open your app in your phone which is MIT AI to companion and you can scan or write the six digit code over there. So now first you will be able to test your app. If it is successful, then you can build that. So if you click this button, it will take some time to provide a QR code and then you can again scan from the mighty AI to companion and then you need to download the app. So guys, that's all for today. This app is done. So hope you must have liked the video. Please press the like button, please subscribe and please share as much as you can so that everybody gets the knowledge of coding. and. If any improvement is needed, please comment.
सो थैंक यू लेट्स मीट टुमारो विद अ न्यू वीडियो थैंक यू बाय बाय